Hi, I'm Rob Madison, and welcome to this brief tutorial providing students with a little guidance in how to take part in the Network Inventory Task Group. The charter for this is clear. Grappa has set up an organized homework assignment to try to help Revenue Assurance and Fraud students apply what they've learned in the classroom to their real-world environment. It's very important to remember that the identification, mapping, understanding, and implementation of network controls has been cited as one of the biggest needs for telecoms globally. And this project will allow students to get first, first-hand network information, first-hand relationships, and help them to strengthen their positive um, relations with the network engineers. It's really important to realize that if you wait until there's a problem in network before you start to go meet with these people, that's not going to be the best way to set up a relationship. So this is all about being proactive and understanding what's happening in network and what the proper controls are before a problem actually shows up. So the purpose of this exercise is threefold. First, to get the students to become familiar with the right contact persons in network. We call those people your subject matter experts, your subject matter resources. They serve as your reference when network problems occur, and they're your contacts when you need to go de delve deeper into network problems. Second of all, the purpose is to help students to become familiar with the details of the network environment so that they can properly assess and map controls. And third of all, we will work with you to help you to develop a controls map for your network environment and assess just how strong or weak the controls are and help you do an assignment that you can take to management for further discussion. So, this project has seven steps. You will be sent a trigger email for each step and we ask that you do the assignment, respond by hitting reply on the um, instruction email at which time you'll be sent the next instruction. So the seven steps of the project are as follows. First, get permission. So in order to perform these exercises you need to be willing to spend some time working on it and you need your manager to agree. Um, not only does he have to agree to the time you're going to spend but he has to agree to help you set up and get the relationships established in the network area. So your success depends on making sure that everyone's clear and cooperating from the outset. So, after you've cleared it with your manager and set aside some th time to do the project, open the Step 1 instruction email, type, I'm ready to start in the subject line, and hit reply. The second step is for you to identify the subject matter experts. So the key to working in the network area is getting to know the right people and making sure that they're willing to work with you. So the first job is to figure out who those people are. Talk with your manager, talk with your peers, talk with people you know in network, determine who your best contacts are for each area. Now the best contact means not especially they're the smartest or the most knowledgeable, but they are sufficiently knowledgeable and they're willing to be helpful. So what we want you to do is create a spreadsheet called SME.XLS and in there put the name, the title, the department, and the technologies for each of your subject matter experts. When you finish this spreadsheet, call it SME.XLS, attach it to the Step 2 Instructions email, and hit Reply. That way we'll get a copy of it and know you're ready for the next step. The network areas you're going to cover are going to be Radio, Core, GPRS Core, IP, and IN. So Radio, of course, is the way customers get into our network. It includes the BTS, the BSC, the WiMAX network, we call them the GRAN, the UTRAN, the EUTRAN, and the WiMAX radio configurations. So if you don't have a good inventory of what all those pieces are, and if you don't understand how those work, it's not going to be possible for you to troubleshoot when you have security, fraud, and leakage problems. On top of the radio network, we then want an inventory of your core network. Now, if you're a traditional 2G carrier, that'll be MSCs, and gateways, if you're a UMTS or LTE, that will include the MMEs, PCRFs, PGWs, SGWs. It really depends on your environment. And this network mapping exercise is designed, among other things, to help you to find out exactly which stage of technology your organization's at. The GPRS environment, which includes the SGSNs, the GGSNs, the APNs, and the different uh, gateways, is important to understand as well. There's a lot of leakage and a lot of fraud, a lot of loss happening in the GPRS area. 
for the IP core, that is to understand where are your DHCP servers, what's your protocol for assigning IP addresses, how are you managing security and AAA in the IP environment, along with an IP network map for your organization. And finally, your IN, Intelligent Network and Value Added Services Components. The IN, prepaid database, the SMSCs, um, ringtone servers, all of the other devices that all hook up to make up your Value Added Services and support infrastructure. So, once you've figured out who your subject management subject matter experts are for each area, step three will be to interview them. So take your spreadsheet, Go to those people and talk to them about what are the different elements in the environment, where is the information kept, how are they secured, who is responsible for what, and how are they reporting and how are they secured. So you're going to interview your subject matter experts. It could be on the phone, it could even by email, conceivably, certainly sitting in person would be the best. The purpose at this time is not to put these people on the defensive, but simply to seek information. Almost every network engineer or IT person will ask, why do you want to know these things when you ask about this information? Don't be defensive. Just tell them it's a revenue assurance project and you have to turn it in um, and you have to turn this information in as part of the project. So you make one spreadsheet for each and you can see the naming convention we want. One for radio, one for core, one for GPRS, one for IP, and one for IN. So sit down, get the inventories for each. That should include the point codes, the IP addresses, the naming conventions, the locations. Get that all together. As you get each one, attach it to the Step 3 instructions email and hit reply so that we'll be able to see the information as you collect it and make sure it's okay. After you've done the inventory, the next step is to get a network map. You're going to be best off talking to the network engineers and having them give you maps of what they currently have. Believe me, they have plenty of diagrams for their topology. So get some useful topology diagrams, attach those to the Step 3 instructions email, and hit reply as well. Now that we've got your inventory and your map, the Grappa team will review your environment and we will then prepare for you a customized controls list based upon your environment and what we know about your situation. So we'll review it, we'll make sure everything is there that's needed, and then we'll give you the specialized customized controls list so that you can continue with the project. We will mail that to you as part of step five. So when you receive the step five instructions, your job is to take the control spreadsheets take the inventory, go through, and map out the controls. So things like B-number routing table, logical and physical security, trunk group inventories, APN inventories, boundary routing table security, those are the kinds of controls you're going to be checking for based upon the inventory that you sent in. Your job is to take the inventory sheet, take the controls list, and score the controls. That is, give them a score of anywhere from 1 to 5, one being the lowest strength of the control and five being the strongest. We have a separate video about the scoring process that you can go through in addition to this. After you've scored the controls, send that back to us by attaching it to the step five instructions and hit reply. The grapple team will then review it, assess and make sure everything's complete and provide you with a final evaluation and feedback on your project. When you receive that final feedback report, step 7, you're ready to turn that into management and have your discussion about the mapping of network controls. So, I hope that this project is going to be exciting for you and useful. Um, the rest of this presentation um, has been attached for your review to help you understand why network controls are so important and why we 